don't want to start any controversy. I don't want to get into any fights. Let's just talk about Barbie. It's the doll circle and I have another Barbie episode so this is not my official Barbie week but I feel like I've been putting up a lot of Barbie videos recently because I got bit by the Barbie bug again I feel like I just started off my doll collecting journey with Barbies and now I'm back at it again and Hexion recently in one of the lives that I was in was like you should really show off your vintage or older Barbies and I was like I've been meaning to do it so they're in bins next to me <laughs> so that I can grab them. I'm not gonna show you all of them because I don't wanna have a five hour long video, but I wanna show you maybe my top favorites. Not sure how many that's gonna be. I'm just gonna go through, show a few, and then if this ends up being a lot longer and I end up showing all my favorite dolls, which is all of my dolls, then Welcome to this five hour long journey then. I don't know where this is gonna go. So no particular order, cause it is hard for me to pick just one Barbie that's my favorite. So there's a lot, like I said, get ready. And a lot of them are going to be in package as well. I have a, also a out of doll vintage Barbie collection. That maybe will be a second video. So right now, starting with some of my favorites. I love the couple sets or ones that they made Ken and Barbie both with. So we have the Sweethearts. Sweethearts line and I just think these are just so pretty. I love everything about them. There is some yellowing to her plastic. Um, oh also if I remember where I got these I'll let you know. Uh, these two particular were purchased from another collector that was just getting out of collecting. So I got lucky. <laughs> now like I said there is yellowing to the package which is something we see commonly if like they left the dolls near sunlight. The sunlight will is not a in-box collector's friend. You will get a lot of that yellowing to happen and that's what happened here with Barbie unfortunately but overall the packaging is great minus the yellowing. I love some of the stuff on the back of these packages are just so cute. <laughs> like, like when we talk about photography and people are always like oh that looks so like Oh, that looks bad. That doesn't look tasteful. That doesn't look who is filming that. Okay, go back to the older packages and all of us who have collected older dolls know this. The older packages got some questionable like photography, questionable pictures. It's literally like a thing on a piece of cardboard that was like colored and they're like, take a picture of that. Okay, put that on the box. And that was it. And you know what? There's something about that that I don't personally mind. It's just really funny when people nowadays, nowadays, complain about stuff and you look at these old packages and you're like, there's no fancy photography tricks there. There's no CGI, there's no Photoshop. This is the doll and she's hugging him and they're just standing there. <laughs> That's it. And I love it, I love it, I love it. I think it's so sweet and there's actually someone, cause you gotta make sure it's real, right? Look, someone there touching the packaging. They're like, this is a real skirt and that's a real purse. <laughs> I'm a Barbie hand model. Like I, who would, I would love, I would live for that. I would, I would, I would. Now something, some of the, I'll read some of the things on here. It says, make hearts magically appear on her dress. So I can't really tell, honestly, it's kind of a little chillier today. I opened my windows in the studio, so it's a little colder in here. And some of the hearts are appearing on the edge of the dress, the trim. If you get it, I believe it's cold or wet. The ruffled, oh yeah, if you take an ice cube, put an ice cube in the heart little handbag thing and rub it on the trim of the skirt, you get these little hearts. So this doll is just something so pretty to me. It's very iconic. I love the big voluptuous curly hair. I mean, it's just, that is quintessential Barbie to me is that big hair. Because it's like, you see, especially in the 80s and 90s, I mean, A in general, everybody was trying to get their hair bigger. I just feel like she had it. Like, especially with the rooting and the thickness of the hair, living, living, living. And poor old Ken, you know, he just got these slacks that are just, I don't know why they chose this fabric for him, but these pants, woo, a moment. They, they, they're just a moment. And you know what the hell? I look at it, I can tell you exactly what era it's from. I can tell you from the metallic looking jacket. Good for him. Good for him. You know, that's just all you gotta say. <laughs> and they always have little stories on the back of the boxes. It says, do you believe in magic? <laughs> Barbie and Ken do. <laughs> and in the, I can't even do it without laughing. It began the night of hearts. What night is that of the year? I don't know that one. Barbie looked radiant in her gorgeous new dress. Well, of course, because Barbie always looks gorgeous. And Tux wore a tux to match, which evidently turned into this. If a guy turned up at my door wearing this, I'd be like, oh, okay, are we, are we gonna play a show in Vegas? I didn't know that's where we're headed. Um, <laughs> one day I'll be on stage in Vegas, watch out. 
I'll take over Lady Gaga's spot. Watch out. Uh, he handed her a bouquet, and then as he, they touched, beautiful pink hearts appeared on her dress and his cummerbund. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> his bow tie, pant stripes, and even the rose bouquet turned bright pink. So multiple things can turn. So it has that like fabric, that like very hard crinkly fabric that can turn different colors. Hmm. Wow, the both of them said at once. How did you do that? I didn't smell Barbie, neither did I, answered Ken. Must be magic, and so romantic, said Barbie. Taking his hands, it'll be our special secret. Who was the people right in the back of these boxes? Okay, so <laughs> I guess I know a lot of people read them. I mean, growing up and stuff, like I, I loved reading the box of the backs back of the boxes. Cannot talk today. Like I said, those to the sweetheart, secret hearts. Did I say sweethearts at the beginning of this? I am so sorry. Secret hearts, Barbies. Um, those I purchased, like I said, from a collector. Now, that was probably like an average price. I don't think they have the original sticker. Oh yeah, they do. Oh my God, I love when they have original stickers. He was on clearance for $11 at Walmart and she was also clearance for $11 at Walmart, which in my opinion would be a steal because their dresses transform into different things. They come with accessories. They have literally luscious hair. Well, she does have luscious hair. He has molded on hair. So for me, $11 on each of those, I would have snatched those up in a heartbeat. And the year that they came out was 1992, 29 years ago. And the boxes are still pretty good too. Like I said, the plastic, not so much. All right, now I'm gonna show you a few collector Barbies that absolutely mean so much to me. Like this one I have mentioned so many times. The box on this one's a little bit more beat up, but that's okay with me. Uh, eventually I was thinking about taking her out of the box. She's from 1994. Now, every Swartz, Swartz. Now there's still a company. They sell like plush and other things at Target currently, um, but they're not what they were back in the day. So if you don't know what it is, Google some pictures, believe me, it's worth it. Uh, Epic Words would always have exclusive Barbies, which my mom would hate because she would never want to go to Epic Words because it's just so crowded and there's just so much going on. But in the collecting days, it would be like, come on, mom, we gotta go get these dolls. And a circus star was one of those. And with a lot of these limited edition dolls, you'd have different designers that would do the designs and illustrations. And this one is by Anne, um, I'm gonna probably say it wrong, Driz, Lil Bill, I don't know but it's her in the back there that does this. And I look at the art, I'm sorry, this is so pretty. So pretty, love the theme, love the color, love everything about it. It's just so pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's look at the doll. Cause I know that's what you wanna see. I would love to get an outfit like this made. Now she has a little bit of damage on the fabric, which like I said, I purchased this one from a collector's <gasps> That's fine. Well, here we get to see her umbrella, <laughs> but look at the detailing on this. Like this is a real umbrella. Like it has the boning and it has this extra material and the satin, like this is not an inexpensive thing. So this is supposed to go in there. It fell out. So it's going to the side. Now it says circus star Barbie celebrates the breathless, exciting performances of many circus acrobats from tightrope walkers to tumblers and more. And there's more on there. I'm not gonna read you the whole thing, but that was a little synopsis. Look at this, there's motorcycles going by. Okay, look at that. Look at the color, look at the tights, look at the outfit, look at everything, look at the giant cape, the cape. Now again, there is some wear to this fabric. I mean, the doll is older, we gotta remember that. Look at the feathers. Um, Unlike the na 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 teen doll that I reviewed, which is super adorable, but that mushy thing on the top of her head was not feathers, these are feathers. Like this is what a feather is supposed to look like. I don't know <laughs> whose definition of a feather was the other one, but this is just so pretty though and the colors. And to me, again, we have the luscious hair. Like this is Barbie and this is what I want to see from Barbie. You know, I mean the bright colors, the fabric, the printing on there. Like, I mean, I don't think it gets any more stunning than this doll. And for some strange reason, this doll has always been one of my favorites. Um, a lot of these collector ones I'm showing you, the boxes aren't great. My mother is the one that has like the best boxes. Like all her boxes are just so flawless and perfect and everything. Um, mine, I was never that picky about the boxes uh, unless it was like, I'm planning on keeping them only in the box. Now this series, they made quite a few dolls in this series. I have more than one. Do I have more than one? Yeah, I have two from this series actually. So um, these are, I would say this one's more my favorite, the pink one than the other one, but I'll show you a little bit of both. This is Evening Extravaganza. Now, each one was designed by someone different. 
This one's by Carol Spencer, and then this one is by um, Kitty Black Perkins. So everyone was designed by someone different. Let's just get right into it. Look at that. Bam, love it. Look at the blue background that pops, that pink gown. I've seen many collectors own this doll. I mean, look at the photography there. Like Instagram, before it was Instagram, like on the boxes. So, so pretty. Um, these two were purchased. One was purchased from my friend's store. And then this one, I don't remember. Possibly another collector, but I don't remember on this one. And again, the box is a little beat up. Eventually, I think I'm gonna unbox her. It's just the packaging on these is so hard for me to break away from because when I started my Barbie collecting was the time when these were coming out. And it's just, every time I see them, it's so hard to let go of the box because it reminds me of like first seeing this doll. And when my mom bought this, she bought this right when it came out. So it's just so hard for me to let it go. And then this one came out, let me give you years. 93 so a lot of these barbies are from the early 90s evidently like early 90s barbies a lot but look at the fabric the sequence the style the accessories the hair on this up in that curly ponytail i'm living for this like she is just beyond beyond beautiful someone cosplay this please like this is just so pretty honestly like hmm i have a pink gown i just need to get a lot of this fabric need this fabric to make it happen. But like she has rooted lashes and real beaded earrings. Like not, not these little molded on plastic things. Like, look at that. Look at, tell me that is not stunning. Comment below and tell me that's not stunning. I'm going to argue, okay? Now everyone's gonna argue just for the sake of arguing. <laughs> now this one's Benefit Ball Barbie. This one came out in 92. And again, it's from the Classique collection. These were meant for collectors. They weren't meant as play dolls. I mean, they could have been play dolls, but it was recommended for ages 14 and up. Now this is the first in the limited edition doll series, the pink one, the evening extravaganza was third in the series. Um, there is one that's got a black and white dress that I literally want so bad. This one's harder to open. Hold on. Okay. Oh, there it is. Now, are you ready? I love all the side, one side, like epic, like here, I'll just show you. I mean, this is why you have to think a lot of why I love drag is just the over the top, the extravaganza of it all, the, the overly feminized outfits and hair and everything. And with these dolls, I can really tell me like, a lot of these drag queens now played with these Barbies because <laughs> you see these fabrics with the one shoulder. Like if you watch the newest season of Drag Race season 13, Got Mick did this epic one sleeve, one shoulder, like big suit piece. I mean, look, both of these dolls that I just showed you had that in there. So look at this hair, love to the side, love the curls. I love that she's got red hair. That's why I was so attracted to this doll is because of the red hair, rooted lashes, epic fabric. I mean, just so much it's just so much for me so that's from the cla these are from the classic 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 line classic line this is gonna be a big stack on this side of the table that's for sure see now i'm gonna end up this video is gonna end up being so long because i want to show you all of these but i'm not oh, oh this is so difficult all right we're gonna go really fast though we're going <laughs> speed round all right, these are from the different Waltz series. I have Midnight Waltz and Moonlight Waltz. This one was purchased from a toy convention for $15. Such a steal in my opinion. 15, 15, okay, let's just give you an example. $15, okay, yes, this doll is older. Yes, this doll has had her day. This one is 1997. But look at the stunning package, which you can display like this, which I have before. Look at the fabric, look at the beading, look at everything on this. Look at her, just stunning. Just a stand, a come on, you know? $15. And what do we get now from any doll under $30? Some come with articulation, some come with clothes, some come with stands. Some of them, the hair is good. And this is all dolls, not just Barbie. But for $15, no. Now, when this doll originally came out, she was originally priced between $60 to $80, I believe, was this one. And I think this one was as well. Um, this one, I think I did pay a little more for but it was from a collector and I wanted both in the series um there is another one that I don't have which I really read this is second in the series this is third in the series but look at that look at the pearls look at the beading look at the rooted lashes look at the little fan like I don't think anyone can understand the stunningness of these dolls and you know what sometimes I recommend go on eBay go on you know facebook marketplace and find some of these great dolls because you can take the outfits off of these i'm going to start stacking these back in you can find these dolls and you know what 
use their outfits for other dolls now. And what you're getting before with this quality, because these dolls, these were like $80 dolls at one point, you know, because they were collector pieces. And you can use these doll fabrics and costumes and everything for whatever doll you want now that they'll fit on for a fashion doll. And you're gonna get the quality that is not out now angry about this all right let's go to another bin um like i said i'm not gonna show you everything because i do have a mixture of celebrity dolls i do have a mix of other random dolls that i'm not going to show you because it's just like it doesn't make sense in this video but i will eventually i promise all right look at this one i got for seven this one i actually bought at the store for seven dollars it was at toys r us clearance it was originally eleven dollars bedtime barbie barbie had a soft body so you could like this girl who looks like she's, I don't know, um, pretending to sleep. Hugging this doll is so cute. Again, voluptuous hair even to go to bed. And I love that. I love that. And you could use a little towel to wipe her eyes and they would, there would color change closed or open. And I'm just like, this is just so sweet. I actually think she's so cute. I love how she was displayed laying down in the box like this. Now, a moment of sadness. They made a larger version of this. I think I want to say she was about this big, where she had the soft body, the hair. I had her, and then I sold her, and I greatly regret it. So if anyone knows that somebody's selling it out there, let me know. <laughs> because I greatly regret For some strange reason, I love that doll. I thought she was so cute. I loved her velvet pink pajamas. These are actually felt, like a felt fabric. She even comes with a little toothbrush. But the larger one, though, had that just, the large one was so pretty. So if anyone knows anybody, let me know. Let me know. All right, this doll means a lot to me. Um, she The box is pretty banged up. As you can see, it's like all messed up. Now, Barbie used to do Dolls of the World collection. They don't really do it like they used to do before. It was like constantly. Like this one, it was like five new countries. This came out in 1996. I remember when my mom and I first read about this in the Barbie Bazaar magazine. Yes, there was a magazine just about Barbies that you could buy, sell, trade with other people. You could post little articles in there. It was articles about upcoming dolls. Like it was the social media before there was social media type of way for Barbie collectors. And when we heard that there was a Puerto Rican Barbie coming out, oh my gosh, like remember when I were like, we gotta go to Toys R Us every single day. We're gonna find this doll, especially come from Puerto Rican heritage. We were just like, Yes, we are gonna get these dolls. So we did. My mom has a bunch of them because she was like, I need one inbox, I need one outbox, I need doubles in the inbox because what if something happens to one box? Like, so my mom has a lot of this doll. Like, she loves this doll. I have one, <laughs> but I just thought she was so pretty. Um, look at this. You are, how are you dusty? You are in a bin. Well, the dust must have made its way into the bin, I guess, but she's very, very dusty. Ooh, ooh, sorry about that. Okay, maybe that's why I'm sneezing so much. But I just love that with the dolls of the world, though, even though they're, they do get a little hatred sometimes because people are like, they're like, okay, Barbie, it's like, look at us. We're doing, you know, cultural dolls, different ethnic dolls in this line called Dolls of the World. And to me, that I, I don't know. I get why people were upset about it a little bit because they're just like marketing something based off of a culture. But to me, I loved it because I was like, oh my gosh, how often do you walk down an aisle and go, Barbie from Puerto Rico, love that. You know what I mean? Like you don't see that. <laughs> Even nowadays, they don't really show, like to me, I liked Dolls of the World because if you were from France, if you were from any other country, you, know, you could get a doll that, again, it's costumed. It's cost. It's a costumed doll because here's five that came out in that wave, which was French, Russian, Puerto Rican, Arctic, and God, I'm gonna say it wrong. I cannot say, get, God. I'm just gonna show it because I cannot, I like, I'm so bad with words. So those are the five that you could have gotten in this wave because they came out with so many waves. And again, they are a little costumey. It reminds me of like, we're a small world. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Disney a little bit um, because it's like they're dressed up in clothing from that, co you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't find it culturally insensitive. I loved the Barbies from the world. Obviously I have this one. I actually at one point had probably like 10 to 12, I had a lot of them. I had the Japanese one, Chinese, Russian, Mexican. I don't even remember, I had a bunch of them and I ended up selling the whole collection. The only one I kept was, was this one just because I was buying a bunch of other dolls at the time. This was like a year or two ago. So I was like, Ugh, gotta buy something else. But also I liked on the back of the boxes, it really gave you history. So it says, you know, I'm Puerto Rican Barbie. I live in Puerto Rico. It's a beautiful place. Often called the Island of Enchantment. My country was discovered in 1493. So it's like, you know, I mean like, so it gives you a little bit of 
history and it also talks about like the different foods there like pigeon peas which is used I actually have some in my <laughs> uh, pantry right now you know I mean it's like they're talking about a whole con glandulas you know like you got your foods like you know you know, thank you thank you thank you for showing you know something else like I again people will always be upset about something that's what I've learned. You can't make everybody happy. People love to complain. People love to rant. Uh, all right, enough of that. Um, the rest of these are gonna just be collector dolls, which I will do a collector doll video eventually of like celebrities and stuff. Do a little Trixie, <laughs> Trixie video moment. All right, so that's those. I also have Busy Gal, which this one from the reproduction series came out in 95. I mean, I don't know, to me it's just so quintessential, the time period. Um, I loved that she was a businesswoman, and when I see this, I see this outfit, and I think she's a businesswoman, a businesswoman, I love it. So this all originally came out in 1960, brunette, I just love the fabric, I love the glasses, I love how she's just so, that snatched waist, that just overall look is just so stunning. I have one more in this series. I had a lot more at one point, but I had to let them go for uh, making space. Now this is the first with a bubble cut hair that I really remember. This is Silk and Flame Barbie. They also made an ornament for this one. This one came out, I think in 98. Look at that. Look at the fabrics. Look at everything. To me it's just like look at the little feet. Look at the little feet. Look at the little shoes. Like those shoes to me have great memories because my mom had boxes of them. So it's just like I love that. I love that fabric. The shoes. The look about it. I love her dark little bubble cut which is just so mm -mm, of the time. She was originally... 62, I think, or the Silk and Flame. Oh, so it came out in different times, I think. Hmm, that one I'd have to research. If I know, I'll put the date here on there. 1962. Hello, it's right on the top. 1962, so 60, 61, 62. They also made a Poodle Parade one. They had a bunch of different ones from this series. I just liked it because it gave you an option. Like, let's say you weren't around in 1961 or 62 and you wanted to own these dolls, you could buy a reproduction version. And these are now actually really inexpensive on eBay. Um, sometimes I can see them for like 20 bucks or less so if you want really good fabrics and clothing alone let's say you don't like the dolls let's say you don't like the original barbies the clothes the clothes alone like you're paying twenty dollars for this and now you can get a fashion pack for five dollars which is not even nearly as close to this like you don't have to question that in my, in my opinion i love it now, of course as always they got to do a million reproduction series series so this was from when barbie turned 50 which i can't believe she's over 60 now the 1964 swirl ponytail and then the original teenage model fat fashion model barbie it's just I don't know, I see these things and it just brings so much emotion of happiness because it reminds me of a time when my mother played with Barbies. It reminded me of a time of, you know, like my mom telling me stories about these dolls and it's just so pretty. Now this one, I think I paid $12 at Toys R Us. Yeah, $12. They made a bunch though, because they made basically more and more of these dolls like from the reproduction eras when she turned 50. They did Black Barbie in 1980, which again, they reproduced in this style box. 1985 Peaches and Cream, which, oh, I need both of those. They're so cute. I just love the packaging on this. It's just so pretty. I love that it comes with a record player. That dress is everything. Um, oh yeah, here's more. It talks about the brunette bubble cut was in 1962. The twist and turn Barbie was 67, Malibu 71, Superstar Barbie in 77, and Barbie and the Rockers in 86, which I had and I sold. I don't know why. I don't know. <sighs> but so pretty though. And look at the packaging. That's why I haven't taken these out of the boxes because they're so good to display in the box and you get to see everything. I, I love these packages so much. So I have a lot more. This is just a taste of some of the Barbies that I have. Um, comment below if you have literally any of these. That would be just be fun to see which ones everybody else owns. Um, let me know which one was your favorite out of everything. It would be so hard for me to choose a favorite out of these because I just love them all for different reasons, whether it's the reproductions remind me of my mother or Dolls of the World remind me of my culture or, you know, the 90s Barbies are just so iconic with the big poofy blonde hair. I love them all for different reasons. And I, I think Barbie, you know, has been under a little bit of like scrutiny recently with the quality and things like that. But when you look back at where she's come from and her history and what she's done for the doll world, that to me is what's the most important is allowing children a new way of play that before 1959, 
all they had was baby dolls. So I love that they were able to give us something different. As always, make sure to check out all the links in the description below. Check out so many different social media platforms that I'm on from Instagram to TikTok. Also, the second channel that I work on with my friend Nick called Hunting Nostalgia. Also, Patreon. I appreciate any donations on there. And our podcast that I work with Robin on where we talk about different topics and we do have some fun ones coming up for all of you. Thanks for watching. Like I said, throw in the comments which one's your favorite Barbie you saw today. Bye. <laughs>